Hi, I'm Jessica. Welcome to the very first episode of Jess Nicole Handmade, where I'll be sharing the creative projects that I'm currently working on. Those often include sewing, knitting, crochet, and block printing, but once in a while there'll be a complete wild card, like making a couch or a giant macrame wall hanging. Truly my goal is to make as many of the items that I have in my home and wear in my body that I can. So I hope that you'll join me in creating a handmade life. Since this is my first episode, I thought I would just share why I've decided to start making these. And there are a few reasons. The first would be to keep track of the things that I'm making. I always have a few craft projects going at once and keep notes and take pictures and share a lot on Instagram, but I just thought it would be really fun to do like more of a long form version of sharing. And another reason is that I'm working on building up this channel. I like to do tutorials and share a lot of the handmade things that I'm doing, but I thought that this way of speaking to the camera and showing the things that I'm making will be kind of easy to edit and easy to keep consistent. I'm planning on sharing one weekly and um, I'm pretty new to video editing and filming, talking to a camera. So yeah, I think this will just be good practice for me. So I hope all that makes sense. I'll try to cut that down and make it sound concise. So I'm gonna start with a finished object and that is my Merchant and Mills bucket hat. So I just made my first sewn hat. I've knitted quite a few hats in the past, they're crocheted, but this is my first sewn hat. And considering, I think it turned out pretty well. I have a couple of mistakes here where it puckered and the fabric just kind of got away from me. But otherwise, I think it's a good first hat. Um, so this outside fabric is a duck cloth cotton canvas and I picked that up on Etsy and I can link that shop down below and it actually fits pretty well. I think I made the, did I make the medium size? I think I made the medium size. Yeah. But so it's actually a gift for my mom too for Mother's Day. I have a whole like handmade gift planned for her. And so this will be part of it. And I think you just got a little peek there at the lining, but that's kind of the, the funnest part to me is this lining. So this lining is from the designer Twig and Moth and it's from Spoonflower printed on their cotton twill. And I really, I'm really glad that I made this fun lining on the inside and I really love this fabric. That is my finished object to share with you. So like I mentioned this bucket, this bucket hat is going to be part of a gift for my mom for Mother's Day and I'm kind of going with a gardening theme. I really wanted to make something and then I thought of making something for gardening and that got me to this other Merchant and Mills pattern which I have cut out the pieces for but haven't got started sewing yet and it's their tool roll pattern and I'm going to make her the tool apron version and I'm going to make it in the same fabric as the hat is made out of. And so that is going to be really fun. I'm making another hat just like this. I hope that as I, I feel like I know what I did wrong there, but I'm going to have to work on my, my patience with sewing probably and making sure that the fabric is evenly distributed and yeah, I'll figure it out. Anyway, that aside, I am making another hat. I have cut out more of the duck cloth cotton canvas. These are my pieces to make the hat out of. And what I'm going to do with these is block print onto them with my hand carved stamps. And what I'm printing onto these is going to match the lining fabric, which is another printed cotton twill from Spoonflower, same designer. And let me just show you this fabric. So these are the pieces that I've cut out and 
I actually have quite a few stamps that match these designs that she has on here. I thought it was pretty serendipitous that there's chickweed on here because I actually have a chickweed stamp. So I'll be using a few of my, my hand carved stamps printed onto this canvas that will match this fabric. So this is the pattern here, the bucket hat from Merchant Mills and it's free on their website. So if you were a sewer, I highly recommend picking that up and trying it. So here is a work in progress that goes along with the video that I shared most recently. And that is my Merchant and Mills ED top. So last week I printed the fabric for this. And again, I'll link that video here so that you can watch it if you'd like printing my stamps onto this fabric. So now I'm at the portion of the project where I actually get to sew and I have started. So this is the back, the front. I made a couple mistakes, but I figure that the top, I'm going for kind of a rustic look here. So I think I'm okay with it, but it's not so bad that I decided that I would take it apart. And this fabric you can see is, it frays quite a bit. So I think what I should have done was cut this bias binding wider so that I had more room to fold it over without the frayed edges showing as much. Okay, but that aside, I have started sewing this. So that means I am also filming that. I'll be sharing part three of making the ED top where I sew it together next week. So the fabric that I printed on is a four layer organic cotton gauze in the color tapioca and it's from birch fabrics and then the stamps are mine i carved them myself and designed all of the stamps that i've used to print onto this fabric so the last work in progress that i would like to share is one that i am pretty proud of and i'm determined to finish i've admired her knitting patterns for quite a while and this one that she just put out was perfect for me um, very much something I would love to wear so this is the pattern and this is what I'll eventually have when I'm finished so here's my progress I actually really appreciate how simple the construction is so far um, I haven't gotten to the the belt portion or the ruffles but I, I so far I really appreciate how easy it's coming together I've used the markers from Coco Knits these are my favorite stitch markers there it's their precious metals set so here is a look at the yarn, I'm actually holding two strand, there's two strands held together, and I'll show you those yarns now. The first one is by Cedar House Yarns, and it's their old growth worsted in the color bark, and it's this beautiful brownish toned kind of deep mauve color. And then I'm holding that together with Newtenden yarn. And so this yarn, it's pretty special. So this yarn is known as a pencil roving and it is made by a Swedish yarn company. It is unspun wool and they sell it in these plates. I've been wanting this yarn for months following their, their um, I follow their account on Instagram and get to watch them make this yarn and their most recent shop update I got this one so I picked up enough to make more than one sweater so I'm sure I'll be making more with this but I really love how it turned out holding these two together I think they're a beautiful pair it has taken me some time getting used to working with this yarn you can see how loose the fibers are You can see on the inside of my work that the yarn has broke a few times and I just tie it off. Because it's such a natural yarn, I feel like it's going to be able to felt 
really easily and then just stay in place. So I don't think it'll be a problem. And I'm getting better at not breaking it. And so I did do something that you're definitely not supposed to do, but I think it's gonna be okay. I, I ran out of the bark yarn that I had on hand, so I ordered more. And I know that if I was a responsible knitter, I would have ordered enough yarn from one dye lot to make a sweater. But I didn't do that and just hoped that it would turn out okay. And I actually think it's fine. I can kind of see a line. I can slightly see a line. I mean, yeah, I don't think it's that noticeable. The first yarn that I used was slightly lighter than this new yarn that I just purchased. So it's it's really hard to see, but there's kind of a line somewhere in here, but I think it's gonna look totally fine. Well, that is it for my creative makes. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. If you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe. I will be sharing another episode next week showing the progress that I've made on these projects as well as a few more that I will have started. I wish you a wonderfully creative day. Bye. Sure need to oil my old chair. But I just thought that I'd mention that for for why. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's interesting to somebody. This is going to be real fun to edit. Okay.